I swore to my father that the new city in honor of Osiris would have already been built and inhabited, and instead... My lord, um, we tried everything, but you're the one who insisted that the Hebrews should build the city, and you also ordered all their male children to be killed upon birth. You also wanted, rightly so, that people be beaten. It's only natural now that the Hebrew workers aren't pleased to serve you, and they're getting slower and slower, my lord. The Pharaoh made the wise decision by restraining them. They had outnumbered the Egyptians, and if a war had broken out, they could have taken sides with the enemy and destroyed us. That's not what I'm talking about! Perhaps you're not whipping them enough! But if I whipped them any more, they would collapse. No, oh, all right, but if the work for the building of the city doesn't progress, you and your assistants will be whipped. Time passed slowly, like the calm, soothing waters of the River Nile. Moses grew day after day under the loving maternal care of Princess Tyra. We need some more red here. Mm -hmm. Lord Almighty, when will we be able to leave this hostile country? When are we going to be able to leave for the land you promised our fathers? Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, the one you called Israel, the one we revere. Oh Lord, when will you bless your people once more? Lord, the Pharaoh is claiming the life of all our male children. Why do you allow this to happen? We are the people of your servant Israel. Remember him, it's you who promised him, saying, I will make you a great nation. Here is your son. It's a gift from your wife. Jehovah, this is my son. If he survives, you, my lord, will give him a name, and I will circumcise him right away so that you can recognize him among the children of your people. Come, darling. Yashabed, tell me what you are doing. I will hide him. This child must live. Are you going to tell the soldiers? Even if I had to pay with my life, I won't say a word, Jockeybed. Oh. Mm. Did you hear that? It came from behind there. Huh? <laughs> Pharaoh said to kill all the newborn. Now. Oh. 
We brought the basket. There is no choice. The Pharaoh's soldiers went into every house. I know that. We have to place him into the hands of Jehovah. I hope that at least you'll survive, my son. The basket, I daubed it well with asphalt. Jehovah, take care of him. <laughs> Come on, row! Row hard! Row as fast as you can! We're almost there! Hebrew child. Hmm. Maids, bring me a flaxen cloth. Look, what does this little girl want? They're for you. Who are you? I'm Patyra, the daughter of the Pharaoh. Get up, child, huh? Oh, oh dear. Madam, shall I go and call your wet nurse of the Hebrew woman so that she may nurse the child, shall I? Go, this is the solution. Bring her to my house as soon as possible. I'll hurry and find her, then. All right, but try to be quick about it. This is a gift, a it's gift from the gods. I'll call him Moses, which means saved from the waters. Do you like it? It's beautiful, madam. Moses saved from the waters. When you finish nursing him, I will give you your wages. There is no need for you to pay me. You nursed a royal prince. I adopted Moses, and it's your right to be rewarded. Thank <laughs> you. 
I saw him. I saw him and I nursed him. The princess will call him Moses, saved from the waters. She adopted him. But does she know he's a Hebrew? Of course she knows, and she's adopted him. He's prince now, prince of Egypt. Blessed be the name of Jehovah. Imhotep, the wisdom of the kingdom of Egypt mustn't be kept secret from the child. Princess, one thing is certain. Prince Moses will become wise if he wants. Good. Hmm. I alone am the prince of Egypt! This one, I don't know him! Me, only me! Prince Mernapta, son and heir of the Pharaoh. You are unique and above all others. Moses is the son of Princess Tyra. He is also a prince. And now we will see who will be better of the two of you. I am. We will see, my prince. We will see. Now open those boxes and put the cards on the table. Now we will see. It's Horus, the pharaoh god. Good. Menopta did very well, too. It's not true! He was the head archer for the king, the great Seti. He saved the kingdom of Egypt when King Hormed, by the will of Horus, entered the kingdom of the dead. He was an invincible warrior. I couldn't do it. The profession of scribe is very, very hard. The scribes are disciples of the great god Thoth. They're the wisdom of our kingdom. A prince must know how to write. A prince that knows how to write must also know how to fight. Observe. In this map is represented that star which guides travelers in the desert. The fair always travels with an astronomer. What is the point of reading about the stars? The astronomer must know that the pharaoh also reads the stars well. The grasses that come from the Nubia produce liquids that are narcotic, anesthetic and healing. And if need be, these herbs can kill, right, master? Certainly, prince, certainly. Hmm, this could turn out to be very useful. So who did win? You, son of the pharaoh. Moses, I've been meaning to ask you for days. Why is your face so pale? Merneptah, damn him. I dislike him, mother. I can't stand him anymore. All he wants to do is win, but I always do, and he hates me even more. You're different from him, Moses. What do you mean, mother? You are better than him. You're a son of the Nile. Horus will soon give you happy days. You just have to wait, Moses. How much longer do I have to wait, Mother? A little more. I will talk to the Pharaoh about you. I 
Highness, the mission is not easy. Why? Because the construction began 40 years ago. Of course, the construction of a city isn't easy, but the work must be done. If the slaves don't want to work, they must be punished. I know that. The problem is that in a few months there won't be anybody left to be punished. What are you trying to tell me, Governor? Among the Hebrews, the men able to work are few, very few. Do you have any young ones? Huh? There is no one here with a name like yours, saved from the waters. You should know that, Prince. What is it that I should know? On this matter, young Prince, I'm bound to keep quiet. What is it that I shouldn't know? Don't worry, young prince. I'll finish the construction of the city. I'll bring new workers from the Nubia. Many. It doesn't matter if they're not Hebrew. Do whatever you want, but I want the pharaoh to come and inaugurate the new city as soon as possible. We'll throw a great feast. Of course, my lord. Prince Moses. Come in, your highness. Our house is your house. Welcome. I didn't think that someone lived in such an inhospitable place. We built these houses ourselves. When the city is complete, we'll leave, my lord. I didn't know that. How many of you live here? How many have stayed? Very few of us remained. We are weak and tired. You see, the elderly die without care. I'm sorry. I'll try to do something for you all. Please leave, your highness. This place doesn't suit you. Let us finish our dinner. Tomorrow we will be whipped again. I'm very sorry to hear that. Oh, oh good. Yeah. You see, the city we've, uh, we've constructed is almost complete. I can see that. I've been wandering every day among the Hebrew workers. Did you uh, talk to the Hebrew workers then? You know I talked to some of them. They all seemed very subdued and honest. Thanks to me, your highness. I hope you tell that to the uh, pharaoh. Sure. I'll also tell him that you're making them starve to death. Well, they're just an enslaved people destined to become extinct by the will of the pharaoh, but you, why, why'd you worry about them as if they were your brothers? Governor, people should be governed in order to stay alive, not to die. Young Prince, it's hard to silence the voice of the blood, isn't it? Why are you telling me that? What are you trying to say? Oh, uh, nothing, Young Prince, nothing. As if I never said it. Don't worry, don't worry. I am at your disposal, my lord. Go back to the governor's palace. No, no, my orders are never to leave you, my lord. Do you have the courage to disobey me? No, my lord. Oh! Why? Why did you hit me? Yesterday you were carving the same sketches today. You're too slow, Hebrew. You're too slow. Oh! I will resort to the governor. I will accuse you of cruelty. Why do you do this, my lord? I saw him raise the rod to beat you, and my blood boiled with anger. Blood takes you wherever it wants, and it never lies. Now you have to hide him so no one can see him. There's a hole here. You should be much more careful, my prince, much more careful. Why on earth do you instruct your servants to spy on me? I received a letter from your divine mother.
Why did you come? You're in danger here. Repeat to me what you said yesterday about my blood. Blood takes us wherever it wants, and it never lies. Why did you talk about blood, my blood? Ask yourself, young brother, and you'll discover who you are. Moses, the one who was saved from the waters. I beg you, please go away. Yes, you're right. I should go. You have taken my daughter! My only she comes daughter! With me, then I give her something to eat. Hold! Don't kill him. He's a brother of yours. You share the same blood. Brought it to you. No one elected you governor and judge among the Hebrews. I just don't want you to beat your brother. And if I disobey you, will you kill me as you killed the Egyptian yesterday? Ah! Huh? Ah! Oh. I would never kill you. It's the Pharaoh who's killing you day after day. Your camel. I was saved from the waters. My blood is their blood. <laughs>